Hey everyone, today's video is a recreation of Katy Perry's Grammy look. The Grammys were just on and I only had this one photo to go off right here of her red carpet look as well as this one of her during her performance. Um, this was just shot backstage but the performance there was no close-ups of her face or anything so I think I got it pretty spot on. She's really um, known for like her really neutral eyes and her bold lips so I think I think I got this one pretty spot on here. So yeah, if you want to see her red carpet look as well as her performance look, then just keep on watching. Alright, so I've already put foundation on and concealer. I used my Makeup Forever HD foundation in the shade 110 and then my Heart Candy Glamouflage Concealer in the shade Ultra Light. I've also just primed my eyes with some primer potion by Urban Decay and I'm going to be working with my Naked Basics palette. So that is what that looks like. There are five matte shades and one shimmery shade. And I'm first going to start out with this shade right here called Naked 2. And I'm just going to be putting that right in my crease. So I'm going to be taking a tapered blending brush and in with that Naked 2 color. And I'm just going to put that all into my crease on both eyes. And if you do have a darker skin tone, feel free to go to the darker shade. I think it's called Faint. Yeah, feel free to go to the darker shade, which is Faint, but I'm pretty fair, so I'm gonna stick with Naked too. So once that eye's done, I'm just gonna move on to the next. Putting it into my crease and then slightly above it too, just to raise it a little bit. And then with a really, really big fluffy brush, I'm just going to buff that all out. Now with the shimmery shade in this palette, which is right here, Venus, I'm going to take a flat shader brush and put that all over my eyelid as well as up on my brow bone for a highlight. So all over here, just patting it on, going up to the crease. She had a pretty intense highlight, so I'm just going to blend that down into that crease color. And then one final time, I'm just going to go back with Naked 2. Make sure it looks all pretty. I'm going to wing out my liner now just a wee bit, and I'm going to be using the shade Trooper in the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo uh, Eyeliner. So I'm going to start off by just lining my eyes and then wing it out. So right off the bat after that, I'm going to apply some lashes. And these are the lashes I'm going to put on. They're called the Regal Lash by Sephora. They're doubled up and just really voluminous. So I got the lashes on and those are drying. So while they are drying, I'm going to take a little bit of Naked 2 and Faint on a shader brush. And I'm going to run that underneath my bottom lash line. Just to give it a little bit of definition down there. For bronzer, I'm using the Bahama Mama Bronzer by The Bomb, and that is just what it looks like. It's just a matte um, bronzer. I'm just taking that on a brush and kind of just chiseling out my bones here, a little bit under there. And I'm also going to put it a little bit higher up on my cheekbone too, because I'm not going to put blush on, but rather a bit more highlight than usual. The highlighter I'm using is Mary Luminizer by The Bomb. And it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous highlight. So I'm going to take that on my fan brush and simply put that all over my cheekbone and kind of bring it down on my cheek also. I'm also going to put some down the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow. Next, I'm going to put some mascara on my bottom lashes and I'm using Their Real by Benefit. And I'm also going to blend these lashes with my lashes.
And the final step I'm going to do on the eyes is actually apply some of this Rimmel Scandal Eyes. It's just a waterproof cold pen, so I'm going to put that in my waterline to just really open up my eyes and brighten them. Always makes me cry. No matter what I do, it makes my eyes water. That just really opened them and rounded them out. So for Katie's red carpet look, she had more of like a neutrally kind of almost coral look to her lips. So I'm gonna start off with Faux by MAC and just apply that on my lips. And then I'm gonna go over that with Impassioned, which is kind of like a corally kind of color. I'm just gonna pat this on top. That just gives the lipstick a little bit more color. And then I'm gonna go over that with a neutral lip gloss. The gloss just helps blend all the colors together. So this is the first look that she had of the night. Her hair was up and it was gorgeous, um, but she had more of a neutrally lip on the red carpet. And now I'm gonna jump in and show you what lip she had for her performance. All right, now I'm gonna go in with Rebel by MAC, which is a deep kind of purpley shade. I'm gonna put that all over my lips. I just need to darken it up a little so I'm going to take Cyber by MAC and I'm just going to take a little lip brush here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to blend this all together. I'm going to put on a little bit of Cyber and blend it together. There, that's the color I was going for. Rebel and Cyber mixed together. That's the color. So this is her look for her performance when she did Dark Horse. I thought she looked so beautiful, but I wish that um, during the performance I did like a close-up on her face or something so I could really see, but I think I did it I did it justice here. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you can. It's BaileyBeautyXO, and I'll see you later. Bye!